In this video, I'm going to quickly go through the game modules viewer where you can see and edit your values at runtime and edit time. My imp character here is an enemy that has an actor on it. This is a game modules actor, so it has all the stats, conditions, quests, etc. that the game modules actor comes with. They do not, of course, start with stats preloaded. That's something you'll have to add yourself, and there's multiple ways to get those stats into it. The original version of the RPG demo project has the starting stats list here with the values being randomized as they're added. The imp derives from demo enemy. And in this class on awake, we start the coroutine starting actions. And that's just going to wait for the game module save and load system to complete loading. Then we're going to start the coroutine setup actor. This is going to wait one frame and then set up the actor. Now, if the actor has already been set up, we're going to just make sure we have all the starting stats and then break. Otherwise, we're going to do the whole actor setup, including setting up the starting stats here. But now we can use the game modules viewer to add stats to the prefab. Now I've got the prefab selected here in the project view. In the game modules viewer component, I'm going to expand the imp actor. This will find all of the game module types associated with any of the components on this object and organize it. In this case, we've got the imp actor, which is, of course, the actor here from the imp. And we're going to expand the stats. You can see all of your stats listed here. And of course, you can separate them out by the types here. And then you can add individually, or you can just add all, and it will just add all of those to the list. The default values set in the game modules editor will be provided here as well. You can click this edit button to change the values here. For anything that's a counter, like hit points and magic points, the points will be highlighted because that's what we expect you to be caring about. All other ones will highlight the final stat, and these will be computed at runtime. With that set up, I'm going to remove all of these starting stats so that none will be added from that script. I'm going to bring a new imp into the world here. And just as a test, we're going to press play and we're going to make sure that these stats get computed automatically. All right, now with the imp selected, we can see that the final stats have been computed. And we can also see that the luck and might are being affected by other values on this object. In this case, it's the actor's race and class with have it, which have an impact on those values. We can also see that hit points have been set because I have code inside the class to compute those starting values as well. In the party-based RPG demo, we have the game data object, which has party data and also the data for each of the players right here, these four. And so we can see that the party stats are here as well. We've got the gold and experience, and we have our party quests. And then each of the players has their own stats. These are all game modules actors as well. And so they will have their own skills and their own stats and other data. And you can see those values populated here as well. Keep in mind that your save and load will override any starring stats that you put onto the prefabs for actors that are already in the scene and have data being loaded onto them. In the RPG demo game, we've got this working as well. So you can see the changes as they're made here. We switch over to a different character, add a skill. You can see the skill added here. Bodybuilding adds proficiency to the hit points max. And we can see that reflected here in the final proficiency. If we turn that off, the hit point maximum goes down. And if we turn it back on, the hit point maximum goes back up. We can also see that the hit points maximum is affected by the stamina. As we increase that, then the hit point maximum will go up as well. And so we can see all of these live values here as we move around and do things in the project. It's a quick overview of how to use the game modules viewer to get some starting stats onto your actors. Let me know if you have any questions in the Discord. Thanks.